This is a pulsar, a rapidly rotating neutron star, the leftover core of a star that died and is very, very dense. Imagine like 500,000 Earths squashed together to the size of Manhattan Island, releasing high amounts of energy from its poles. And uh, that can usually be detected through like X-ray emissions or radio. And recently there was a very large jet stream that was detected and it turned out to be seven light years long, which is one of only four pulsars that have ever been detected to have released such a massive jet. If this filament stretched from New York to Los Angeles, that means the size of the pulsar would have to be a hundred times smaller than the tiniest object you can see with the unaided eye. Yeah, pretty crazy to think about. So this tiny, tiny little thing, it released such a high amount of energy and radiation. So what exactly does that mean? Why did it do that? How did that happen? Uh, we don't really know. Most likely it was because of the size of the pulsar. Again, it's undergoing a lot of pressure. It has a lot of energy trapped inside of it. So it gets emitted through its poles. Um, but the fact that it was this so big like this is kind of still a mystery. So there are X-ray images that were detected by the Chandra X-ray Observatory. And then there were visible images that were taken by the Gemini Telescope down at Mauna Kea in Hawaii. All right, if you want to know a little bit about the name of the pulsar, you can look it up. It's known as PSRJ2030 plus 4415. All righty, bye guys.